<laughs> Holy crap, this thing is this thing is just too much fun. This is the way to do it. Way to go. This is the way to go. <laughs> Oh, I knew it was gonna happen the best. Hey, Wayne here with the Makuta 10 Plus electric scooter. I'm gonna unbox it and get it put together right now. Okay, once you get it out of the box, there's only a few more things to do, like pulling up the stem here, getting it mounted, and then uh, just make sure you raise up your handlebars. And they, this piece here is sort of spring-loaded, so it kind of goes right on. And then all you have to do is tighten them up. So tighten down both sides, and then make a few more slight adjustments and you should be ready to ride. A couple other things you're gonna to want to adjust and tighten is this part right here, this, the, uh, your brake lever, your other brake lever, and this controller right here. So put those all where you want them, tighten them down, and peel off the tape that's, the film that's over the display. Make sure it's all charged up, tires are inflated properly, and you should be ready to ride. Here is the Makuta 10 Plus folded and all lit up. It has dual 60 volt 1400 brushless motors for a total of 2800 watts of power. Custom etching on the suspension arms which are also connected to a double spring dampening system. You can order it with either a 60 volt 20.8 amp hour battery or a 60 volt 25.6 amp hour battery. The only difference between the two is mileage. The white LED stripe along the deck also serves as a brake light and a turn signal. The Makuta 10 Plus comes equipped with 10 inch pneumatic off-road knobby tires and they work really well. Here's a couple of full shots of the scooter that I took during the day and another one at night. And here it is folded, it's on so you can see the lights are on on the side. It's just a great looking scooter. and. The design on the sway arms looks nice too. Here it is folded up at night so you can see what it looks like. That green yellowish color on gray looks really good. There's the brake light. And here's one last shot of the Makuta 10 Plus with the lights on during the day and on the right there with the turn signal, left turn signal engaged. The 10 Plus has a wide anti-skid rubber deck surface for a good grip and is one of the best and most comfortable decks I've ever been on. This scooter has dual front and rear hydraulic brakes with 145 millimeter discs. Instead of the traditional keys or push button starting system, the 10 Plus uses NFC cards to get the scooter started. On the right side of the handlebar, you have a grip with an integrated turn signal button, brake lever, a throttle, an on off button, and the up and down mode buttons. On the left side of the handlebar is another grip with a left turn signal button, brake lever, and an electric 110 decibel horn, and dual drive motor buttons. Here's a quick shot of what those buttons look like at night. And here's a shot of what the dash looks like during the day and at night. Okay, so the lights on the deck are really cool, the white light strip going down is cool and you press on the brake you get that red for the brake on each side and another thing is in the grip when you push down on this little button right here you get a turn signal so you know right grip right turn left grip left turn so pretty neat and that will turn off on its own after 12 seconds so there's no way of turning it off you just gotta let it run its course Try to keep up.
Yeah, I'm on single motor on one, mode one. <laughs> <laughs> so I am switching to dual mode, mode three. See how fast this can go. All right, dual mode, mode three. Thirty-seven. Woo! Forty-three. Forty-five. Forty-six. Whoa! That is crazy. So the Makuta 10 Plus comes with either two batteries. You get either the one that I have, which is the lower one. It's the 60 volt. 20.8 amp hour battery or you can get it with the larger 60 volt 25.6 amp hour battery the only difference really is mileage power wise and everything else is all the same Makuta claims that this scooter can do 46 miles an hour and uh, as you saw on my ride earlier it actually does I hit 46 I might have even hit a little bit more than that on their site it says 46 plus but i hit 46 and i was coming up to a stop sign so i had to slow down it may have gone a little quicker than that also if i was lighter it might have gone a little quicker than that you know this this little hump in the back it helps my left foot because my left foot gets a little tired standing but when i put it on here it feels better especially when i put the heel on here I mean the the arch. There's got to be you a know? reason why it's there. Yeah, it helps. It does help. Yeah, it feels great. This one feels fine over all the dirt and everything. Good tires for it. Yeah, I mean if I'm holding off at all, or if I'm holding back at all, it's because the camera's on it, and I don't want to the camera on my phone. I don't want to just you know jerk them all over the place. But if they weren't on there, I'd probably be doing a little bit more. But uh, it's, it's running good. It's running really well. And most of my ride has just been single motor. I just don't need the dual on this, you know? Mukata says that this scooter weighs 80 pounds, can handle 330 pounds, but its recommended weight is 265. So I'd stick with that. It also comes with a 25 month warranty, which is pretty darn long. I'm impressed by that. I appreciate that they put that out there. Yeah, this scooter, it handles really well. It's really, really quick when you want it to be. But being that it's so quick, even on a single motor mode, means you can enjoy it a lot longer. Battery will last a lot longer. This, they built this really, really nice. And the suspension on it, really cool. So. Feels great. Yeah, this scooter handles really well. It's it's getting close to edging out my favorite scooter. Yeah. It's got plenty of top speed. Yeah, it's got plenty of top speed. I love how the controls work. Just love everything. The quad spring suspension, excellent. <laughs> okay mode three here we go whoa this thing really just takes off i got the 33 and then it kind of lost power okay so on my first test ride i actually had an issue where the battery died I thought I had charged the battery, but when I thought about it, I can't remember when I did. So I don't think I ever did, especially since the chargers were still packed up. Chargers are still in the box. One of the things that fooled me was the display said full charge. And while I was riding, it said full charge. The next thing I knew, when I bumped it up to the dual, mo uh, dual motor mode, it died on me. So, and it wouldn't start back up till I got it back home. So what happened is, Makuta was initially sending these scooters out with the wrong setting on the controller at 52 volts, I think it was, but it's supposed to be at 60. So they told me, go ahead and change it to 60. 
All their scooters they're sending out now are set to 60. I'm gonna show you how to set it to 60. Okay, let's first go over a little bit about how the scooter starts up and how do you go through some of the settings and what all the buttons do. So to start your scooter, you're gonna press and hold the power button. When the card message comes up, grab your NFC card, place it over the display and the scooter will now start up. So to change modes, you're gonna go from one to two to three, back down to one. Um, if you hold the power, I mean the, the up mode button down for a little while, the front light will come on, hold it again, front light turns off. Over here on the left side, ignore this note, I'm gonna go over that in a little while, but here is your horn button, which is really loud, and DDM button, which is like a turbo button. When you press that in, no matter what mode or speed you're already traveling at, this uh, it, it kicks in and it will take off. So be very careful with that. To go over the settings quickly on the display, if you tap your power button, right now it's on odometer. If you press it again, it goes to trip. And if you get, go again, then you see the voltage, which mine is currently at 64 volts. So that is probably a bit more important to watch than the battery indicator. But I mean, they're both there. The, the reason why I think the voltage part is really important is now I'm gonna go back over to that note that I wrote here on the left side. And this is just some information that's generally good for anybody with dual motors probably, but um, especially this one. This is important information. So when you're on a full battery, you should show 66.5 to 67.5 volts. And if you get under 55 to 56 volts, you should switch to single motor if you're not on single motor already. If you're on dual motor, you run a chance of the protection kicking in and the scooter shutting off and it won't start back up unless you plug a charger into it. So. You don't really want to do that. You don't want to damage the motor. So a good thing to do would be to just uh, keep it charged and try to stay away from running dual motors when you are in that 55 to 56 volt area. Okay, to change some of these settings, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold these two buttons down and that'll bring us to the P settings, program settings. So. I have a image of it on my phone. I'm gonna take that and later I'm gonna post it. Well, I'll post it in the video, but it'll, there'll be a link on it uh, down below to my website. My website will have the chart there and you can uh, copy it or download it or whatever you need to do to have it. So, okay, so P1, let's get back in there. So P1 is just for the brightness. You can change the brightness of the screen two, three, so one is the lowest, then you got three being the highest and two in the middle. I'm going up to three, but um, one thing I would have liked would have been a slightly brighter screen. It's a little bit hard to see out in the sun, but you know, all my e-bikes and scooters kind of have that same problem with these digital screens. So it's not impossible, it's not bad, but I would have liked a little bit brighter. So, okay, back to these P settings. So. I'm not gonna go over all of them, just some of the important ones. If you wanna change your, if you wanna change the, uh, from mo uh, a mileage to, or kilometers to mileage, that's gonna be uh, P2, which you have to press the power button again. You tap that and now you're on P2 and you can change it from kilometers to miles. Mine I think was already set to miles. Okay, so I am going to now show you the most important one, which is the P03, which, to get there, you know, you'll have to press this, tap this power button on your scooter a few times. If you're starting from zero, or if you're starting from one, go up to P03. I'm at 60, which is 60 volts. If you go down, you're at 52. Now, some of them went out with 52. Make sure if you have the scooter that you bump it up to 60. So otherwise, you won't read the uh, battery message very clear, the battery meter on the, on the screen. So that's about it. There's other settings, but I'm gonna leave those alone. And I'm going to post this on my website at spiderwayne.com. 
So you can check it out there. I'll have a link down below. But uh, that's about it for all the settings. Okay, so this isn't something I normally do, but I do like this scooter a lot. So I wanted to stand here and tell you that I love this scooter. It is in my top two, may become my top number one, but for right now it is tied to up there. A few things that I really like about it is the way when you're throttling and you want to change modes, you're sort of forced by this design to take your hand off the throttle and change, which I think is a good safety feature. So that's cool. The grips have turn signals built into them, which I've never had before. That LED stripe down at the bottom is a bright white during the day. And then it also acts as a brake light and turn signal. So that's really cool. The display could be a little bit brighter, but I feel that's the same with all e-bikes and e-scooters. They could all be a little bit brighter. So it's okay, it works great at night, but I think it could be a little, little bit brighter during the day. The dual motors is really cool. A lot of power there. The battery comes in two different sizes. The only difference is mileage. If you want more mileage, get the bigger battery. It's got a nice loud horn. This clamping system works really good when you pull the stem down and fold it down. The uh, four springs are excellent. I've never had that before. So first time I cruised down the driveway, I felt a difference. And maybe it's personal preference, but I like it a lot. In fact, the only thing is you have to be careful with the scooter is that when you're cruising at a good speed, if you don't look at your mileage, you might notice you're going faster than you think you are. It's, it's because it's so smooth, you, you, don't, you don't feel like it's dangerous or anything, and that could give you a false sense of security. So keep an eye on that speedometer, because this scooter, I did get it up to 47 miles. The website says 46 plus. I wasn't on a full charge. It was nearly full, but it wasn't full. I might have been able to get it up to 48, 49 on a full charge, but uh, 47 is pretty good. So I enjoyed that. The knobby tires are really great. Keep an eye on your fenders because they are adjustable. And being that they are adjustable, you may have to tighten them up every once in a while. Out of the box, I should have checked everything like you should whenever you get a new e-bike or scooter. Always check everything, make sure everything is like nice and tight. Um, that one came loose and I tightened it up. It's been fine ever since. And uh, let's see, anything else to mention? The stem is really solid. If you don't have a good solid stem, uh, some of the round ones aren't, uh, don't feel as solid to me as these rectangular and triangular type shapes. Um, if, you, if they're not real strong, you can get a little bit of a wobble, which is not safe at high speeds. That may be also uh, making the right, be making the right feel as smooth as, as it is. So, okay, so I like all of that. The, the, the brakes, the hydraulic brakes are great. No problems there. I think that's about it. So I'm gonna have an affiliate link down below if you wanna get one of these. Uh, go ahead and grab one. It, it doesn't, uh, the price isn't raised or anything for that. So you get the same price whether you use it or not does help out the channel, so I would appreciate it. Go out there and grab one, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, dual mode, mode three.